Hey love, so in my how I started running video, I got several questions about my workout gear and compression pants and things like that. So I wrote some notes down to give you guys um, a better understanding. Um, so I work out um, in compression clothing, primarily compression pants. I don't wear compression tops or compression socks. Um, but I wear long compression pants for my runs and I do have the cropped compression pants um, that I've also worn for runs um, and initially I bought them just to work out in um, but now that I'm running more often I'm invest and, and I'm losing weight I'm investing in long compression workout pants for running and I prefer high-waisted over the regular under the belly button style. Um, I get my compression pants from Old Navy. You can find um, high-waisted ones online in black and gray um, and I actually have a pair of black high-waisted ones that I've had for years and the quality is still good just a little bit of fading. Um, the, the science behind compression pants is that your performance will be enhanced because the pressure that the compression clothing um, add to the muscles helps to accelerate um, oxygen and blood flow. And there's been tests done and the research kind of shows that um, for the most part compression pants really compression clothing really doesn't do anything really dramatic but the people who are wearing them are basically reporting that they feel a lot differently. So uh, compression clothing helps to reduce your soreness, um, especially during your workout. Like you know how back in the day, and maybe even now, you know, people really wore big baggy clothing, like sweatpants and big baggy tops and things like that. Um, and you really didn't see people wearing too many like tight clothing. Um, I think one, because people are self-conscious. So when you go to the gym, you don't want people like checking you out. You wanna be there and focus on your, your workout. And I think for guys, obviously there is this like stereotype around what's appropriate male gender clothing and so tights and things like that aren't weren't always um, acceptable or appropriate um, but I feel like now people are so much more focused on health and uh, um, endurance and reaching their goals and they're increasing their abilities that and their performance that they're not really caring about it. And now that um, the trend is compression, compression, compression and how it enhances this and does this for you, people are just wearing them. So for me personally, I started wearing compression pants years ago because when I went into Old Navy, I had bought some yoga style pants that kind of flared at the bottom like bell bottoms and I had picked up some just uh Capri style compression pants and then the one black compression pants that was long and I found myself not wearing the yoga style because I just didn't like how I looked in them and I wore the compression style more even though I was really big 200 and some odd pounds um the compression pants was just better for me um for me personally why I love running in my compression pants is because I don't feel my body jiggle a lot which is you know, if you're a big girl like I was, I mean, it's so crazy to say I was a big girl and I'm not anymore. But if you're a big girl, your whole body just jiggles when you're running. Um, and even though I only wear compression pants, there are compression shirts and there's compression uh, uh, socks. So you may uh, be fleshy all over and want to invest in a whole top to bottom compression outfit. But for me, I just wore the pants, like I said. But I felt like because my, I'm so hippie and I have a lot of butt and a lot of thighs, when I would run in um, like a regular workout pant that wasn't tight, compression and fitting and snug, my whole body would just jiggle. And with every pound of my foot on the treadmill or on the pavement, I just felt like my whole body was just shaking and it was very uncomfortable. Um, you may have experienced the itchy thigh or that itchiness that you feel every time you run and that's that blood flowing through your body. Compression pants will completely eliminate that. Also, all that jiggle when you're running, if you're concerned about that, compression pants will eliminate that to a point. If you're really, really big and you have really, really fleshy, fatty, um, muscles uh, if you have a lot of areas in your body that are fatty then of course there's only so much that compression can do to stop the jiggle and once you start building more muscle and reducing fat that will completely go away like i really don't bounce as much as i used to now um but um 
in addition to like not feeling all the bounce and like all the muscle jiggle, um, I feel like I'm less sore after my run because everything is so compact and tight in that in that pant. Whereas when I run in a regular gym pant, like just a tight, something like tights, but not compression, I feel like my muscles are so much more sore. Um, I am personally more comfortable in the compression pant because it just holds everything and like you get the ultimate snatch in a compression pant versus like a regular uh, sweat pant or like a regular tight like I said um, and one thing I love about them is that it really controls the moisture when I wear my compression pants I'm not I don't feel like I'm sweaty all over um, and I assume if you wear a compression top it will feel the same you just don't feel wet all over because it draws the moisture out which also regulates your body temperature if you're someone who's running outdoors in the cold which I'm not you will that moisture being with the way from your body will help to keep your body temperature uh, up so you're warm and in the summer vice versa you run with your compression pants which I do and you feel less hot and more cool because the, the sweat is not building up on you. Um, so uh, that's my that's why I wear compression pants. And like I said, I get them from Old Navy. I do have uh, three pairs of Armor All, um, no, <laughs> Under Armour compression pants that I got from Models. They are more expensive and I don't feel like the, the quality is better than my Old Navy ones. So personally, I would say just maybe Old Navy may be a good option for you. And uh, like I said, Old Navy has high-waisted ones. So if you're someone who has belly fat um, or belly skin, get that that would be good for you so that way you don't have to keep pulling it up too much um and because compression pants are really fitted don't be um confused when you put them on in your size and you're like oh my god these don't fit like the idea is to really fist like stuff your body in them so if you're a large and you're planning on losing weight um go into the store and see if you can fit into a medium like super tight because it might be better for you to just do that versus getting a large and then you're on the borderline of it and of course wear and tear of clothing as you clothing age the elasticity is going to diminish and then it's going to be a little bit looser so keep that in mind if you're like on the borderline um of the size um, so I I wear large ones and I stuff my body into them to the point where I literally you know when you're putting putting on stockings how you have to like scrunch it and then pull it up a little bit to get it really nice and smooth you have to do that and I do it over my butt I stick my hand in the back and like pull it up and as I'm running sometimes they do they do come down but when I get like into my run like maybe 10 minutes into my run it stops that that falling down stops um and I just you know pull it on really tight and snug the idea is to be really tight like you don't want loose compression pants that completely defeats the purpose of getting compression pants so you want them to be super tight let me know if what you wear to work out um as far as like what do I wear on top because I don't wear compression tops I usually just wear like basic cotton t-shirts um I do have a few dry wick dry fit t-shirts that I bought from uh Walmart like they're like four to five dollars um and I have a lot of cotton tees that I wear I'll go to like rainbow and just get a whole bunch of like short sleeve cotton tees or the uh, uh the tank style I have some from Old Navy as well I have some with the uh, encouraging phrases on them um, but as far as like workout t-shirts I'm not too particular but I do see a difference when I wear dry fit versus a cotton because the dry fit really does take the moisture off of you I used to think it was like just like marketing but no it's real like I feel so much cooler when I wear my dry fit when I'm running in the gym versus when I wear my cotton and the sweat is just like sticking to me um yeah so let me know what you wear to the gym what you work out in and if you're a big girl and you need help you know try that uh thank you for watching I love you for watching my Bye. eyes grabbing the wrong catch up where buttons against me can't prosper armor god is much stronger than the army of y'all I'm ready for war after that I'm ready to ball and after